Mirror Presents King's Quest 4. Is this your first time playing King's Quest 4? Yes, it is. Hello everyone, Lock here. Um, yeah, just thought I'd bring you one of my favourite adventure games, one of my first ones, uh, King's Quest 4. And yeah, we've got some nice music which was quite advanced at the time. Which one was this game made? 1988. And you might be asking, why am I starting King's Quest 4? Well, I didn't play the first three, so... Yeah, we'll start here. And yeah, got some nice music designed by Roberta Williams. Programming by Ken Kosh. I'll let you read. With the return of his long lost son Alexander and the rescue of his daughter Rosella from the terrible dragon, old King Graham decides it's time to pass on his adventurer's hat to younger blood. He flings the battered hat towards his children while his wife, Clean Valenice, proudly looks on. The hat arches through the air. Suddenly, Kim Graham experiences a terrible squeezing pain in his chest. Oh no. Help me, he rasps. The adventurer's hat lies unclaimed upon the floor, forgotten. Hmm. No good. <sighs> King Graham lies weakly in bed, Father Death hovering near. Grief suddenly overwhelming her, Rosella to the throne room. Oh father, she sobs, you're still young. You should have many years ahead of you. Oh, sorry. Do you really mean that? A soft voice asks. I'm guessing she was saying that some that wish there was some way to help. Rosella looks up and sees no one. Who is speaking to me? I am, the voice says, look in the magic mirror. Rosella sees an image in the mirror. Who, who are you? She queries. <coughs> Some of these texts. I'm the fairy Genesta. In my land of Tamir, there is a remarkable tree. The tiny tree needs just 100 years to bear a single fruit. But this is no ordinary fruit. If for a person were to eat it, they would find in good health and well-being would be theirs for many years. Rosella is much heartened by this news. Where is the land of Tamir? Janesta smiles. Tamir is very far away, but with my magic, I can bring you here. Rosella senses there may be more to the story, but I suppose there are some problems? Of course there is, it's a Sierra game. Again, Genesis smiles. Yes, you are correct, Rosella. If you are willing to come to Tamir, I will explain the situation. However, once I bring you here, I can't send you back. You will have to help me first. Confused, Rosella says, I don't know. What if there's anything I can't do to help you? Or find the tree? Janesta pleads, you must decide now, Rosella. My powers are growing weaker by the minute. Now the fairy is but a quaint glimmer. 
and her voice barely audible. If you care for your father, say yes now, and suddenly she's gone. Yes! The lovely fairy speaks. I am the fairy Janesta. Welcome to Tamir. Rosella looks awestruck at the fairy. She is stunningly beautiful, but there is a certain sadness to her. Finally, Rosella speaks. I know you'd like to help me in some way, but I don't know how I could help a fairy. Janessa looks sadder than ever. You're wrong, Rosella. You see, I'm losing my magical powers. Yesterday, I was strolling through the woods. La -la -la. The fairy sighs. She yanked it, from the talisman, from her neck and raced away, screaming with laughter. Immediately, I felt my fa powers diminishing, my body weakening. I will die in 24 hours if my talisman is not returned. Intently, Janesta looks at Rosella. The lot is very evil, and will use the talisman to bring more evil to Tamir. Now I fear it will contaminate my whole country. Further, I cannot send you home without my talisman. Rosella is unsure what she can do. Meekly asks, I want to help you, but how? You can do more than you think, Rosella. Janesta assures her, I believe you'll be able to penetrate Lalot's domain. Suddenly, Rosella remembers the tiny tree. Can you tell me where I can find the magic fruit? Remorsefully, Janesta looks at Rosella. It will not be easy to reach the tree. It grows on a tiny island within a vast swamp on the other side of the great mountains. Bravely fighting back tears, Rosella says, I will help you in any way I can, Janesta. How can I find Lalot? The beautiful fairy points eastward. Lalot's castle overlooks Tamir from the great mountains. Janesta looks weaker than and she says, There is not much more I can do, Rosella. As it is, I'll, it will be difficult for me to fly home again. One thing I must do for you, though, I shall disguise you as a peasant girl, so as to not attract attention. Th thank you, Janesta, I think. Rosella stammers. It will be better for you, the fairy says. Well, I must be off while I can still fly. I know you can do it. Goodbye. Good luck. Well, you're on your own, Rosella. And so it looks like we've got, yeah, two tasks. One, get uh, um, Janesta's talisman from the evil fairy Lalot. And two, find that magic fruit. Okay, so. Now the game starts, and you can see at the top here, score zero, 230 points. Uh, let's speed make it faster okay um, let's see if we can go find a nest so let's go for a swim Doo -doo -doo. Ah! Ah! you made a hungry morsel for that hungry shark 
And we're dead. Okay. We failed. Alright. Well, I'm sorry we couldn't help um, King Graham, Rosella, but yeah, that's the end of this. Um, oh wait, we can restart. Okay, let's restart. Okay, cool. Alright, sorry, I, I just wanted to show you that scene, that death scene. Okay, and yeah, there's probably, yeah, gonna die a lot legitimately, so... <laughs> Oh, unicorn. Hey, come back. And, oh. Bit wet. Hey, hey, buddy. Hey, no, 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 don't, don't run away. Oh. Okay, it's gone. <laughs> Okay, so Janesta said the oh 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 that that Lalot's castle was to the east. So let's head as far east as we can. And ooh, these this path looks uh, dangerous. So, I'm just going to use the mouse here. Uh oh, Lalot's goons. Oh, sh Well, we found Lalot's castle at least. Well, my pet Lalot hisses, what have you drug home today? Lalot gives you the once over, and she does red arrows. Sorry, her red eyes begin to narrow. Are you a foolish girl that wandered here by mistake, or are you a spy sent here by my enemy, Janesta? <laughs> you swear to Lalot that you are nothing but a poor peasant girl who has lost her way, but she doesn't seem to believe you as her mouth begins to snarl and her eyes narrow to mere slits. For the first time, you experience real fear and begin to tremble. Oh, so you weren't... Oh. Lot snarls, you don't look stupid enough to have wandered here. I believe you're a spy. Take her to the cell. Okay. Um, I don't think there's anything we can do in here. Let's type open door. You can't, it's locked. Okay. Uh, let's have a look. You have found yourself in a horrible cell. It looks as if others have found their way here too. Hopefully, you won't end up like them. Oh, jeez. What? I don't want to know what happened to this guy. Um, talk to Skeleton. There is no one nearby. Talk. Who would listen? Okay. You hear the henchmen returning. Perhaps they are setting you free. The henchman motioned you to follow him out of his cell. The lot gives you a sickly sweet look. You're lucky, my dear, she coos. My precious son Edgar has taken a liking to you, and he believes you. He's convinced me to give you a chance to prove your innocence. You glance at the lone, homely young man standing next to Lalot. He blushes. Oh, he's gone all red. Lalot continues. I wish to own the unicorn that inhabits the Meadowland. Bring me the unicorn, and I shall not only set you free, but reward you as well. To a henchman, Lalot orders, Go! 
take her back to the forest. Okay, so we're back from the started, and yeah, Lalot wants that unicorn that we saw in the meadow before. Uh, how are we going to get it? Yeah. Well, you'll have to find out in the next video.